You're not wrong. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Derps and Dice. I'm Staz, the GM for the evening. I'm joined by... And that's Dan. Oh, wait, is he going to go for it? No. <laughs> I was balancing on my chair, and I got to, like, that angle where all life ends. Hi, I'm Jim Lee, the Jim Lee Jim Lee. Hi, I'm Jim Lee. I'm also the Jim Lee. I'm Jim Lee. Do, do, I'm the Jim Lee. The one who's tired of this Jim Lee joke. <laughs> you will never be tired of the Jim Lee joke. I'm always tired of the Jim Lee joke. I'm Jacob. I'm actually Jim Lee. The true Jim Lee. I'm Dan. I'm Wayo. Scribe to Jim Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and, and familiar to Xana. <laughs> oh, I miss. What? I'm Luke, I am play this. I'm part of Jim Lee's harem. Oh, God. <laughs> acceptable. Acceptable. I demand fan he, he accepts all forms of creature, both benign and evil, <laughs> in his harem. I'm looking for number 5,000, boys and girls. And we've yet to, and we've yet to hear ink kicks. No, I, I did the first he's, one, the Jim Lee Jim Lee Jim He started it off. He's well, the one that started that spiral. Actually, I thought you would actually, like, you know, chime in, like, what, you know. Sure, yeah. I'm N. Kix, the tiefling witch. Truth. Who, who is not Jim Lee. But madly, deeply in lust with Jim Lee. I mean, it's Get always on the face palming devil. <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> aren't we all? Yes, Dale, aren't we all? <laughs> You see, got that unnatural lust. You see, you see, this is this is okay. So, Devil just messaged me in uh, freaking Discord. You, you see, Devil, this is the exact reason why you need a freaking Twitch account so that way you can actually be in the conversation in chat and people can see and know exactly what's going on. Besides it just being me, okay, I'll always have you. the chat open so we can like. Respond to what he talks about. Yeah. Technically, I don't have the chat open. But, uh. I do. That's because I'm DMing right now. <laughs> anyway. I keep so, it open, but I, I, I try to check it every now and again, but I. I tend to get too into actually playing Pathfinder to, like, actually check it reliably. Well, I just landed. Anyway, so. Last time we left off, y'all escaped prison. Good job. Or the yeah, farm. Or whatever you want to call it, wink. That so hell that's... hole that stuck me with a cursed blade that I broke. Yeah. I died there. It was fun. We yeah. don't know that. I, mean, I, I like most that. of the doorknobs. <laughs> he did. Funny, I went most through the doorknobs. Door I did other things <laughs> Indirect kiss, Wayo. Indirect kiss. I count. <laughs> See you later, virgins. Do I count that as one of my sexual escapades? Only if Wayo knows that you licked, uh, that you did something to the knob. I'm gonna mentally add one to my list. <clears throat> I have a counter. I'm at four thousand four hundred, four thousand forty-two. Why? All right. And so... My goal is to make five thousand before I die. Yeah, you got five years, buddy. Well, post prison. So now you all made it. You've all met up with Claudia. Oh, we didn't. Now... <laughs> Is that the same lady that picked me up? I didn't. She didn't tell yeah. me her name. Either. If she looked like an imp with a butt sausage, yes. Okay, that's exactly who picked me up. <laughs> yeah. I'm really surprised so... that you knew that. <laughs> anyway, you meet up with the imp. Yeah, she, she. I think she told us that she actually helped you out. And, uh, she took you guys to a tavern. And I'll move you guys there in a seco. Oh, man. Is that, is that my harm? Did you just make that harm for me? Oh. Wait, wait, uh, Mr. Dan, Doki Doki harm? That, that's man. a bunch of fucking... <laughs> can, we, can we get rid of the turn order thing?
of it, or you can put it mine over the chat log. At the high points of the chat log. <laughs> oh, am I? Do I need to stay back here? Okay, I guess I'm back here. Yeah. Hi, you friends. Back there. Do you see me? Haha. <laughs> they don't see you. Oh. Damn, I'm watching the stream. How many of you fuckers are over there? The entire Imperium. I am very happy you made a count, even though Dirk hasn't responded to you yet. Aha! There you go. There's that delayed reaction. <laughs> well, I was I was looking I was looking at roll twenty. I was like, wait, what? You don't have three monitors up for this? Come on. One's for my porn, one's for the chat log, well, and one's for the game. All necessary. Derps and Dice is sponsored by Pornhub. It's I don't think we're legally allowed to say that. Yeah, you're Why not. <laughs> Why not? Also, also, Jacob, not official face. <laughs> not official face of the random tangent. You don't know that! Shut up! <laughs> I do. As a matter of fact, as being a co-founder... Jesus, what the heck is this with what? Why did the giraffe's head explode? Hey Dan, <laughs> Dan, you're the one doing the Photoshop and like the quick, dirty bullshit, right? Yeah. Can you can you red up this person? Red up. Make them red. Make them red. Oh, uh, you know how I'm red. Make 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 her red. The, the, the skin. Oh, Jesus. I think we're part of somebody's fetish. I'm not okay with it. I oh, my try. God. Hey, that's going oh, to. Okay. Oh, my God. Is that going to be your mom? No. My, my mom is, is a nice white lady, not red. What are you talking about? I just. Why, why is there a large breasted, succubus looking woman? Don't worry about it. I'm very told, worried about it. I told it. you we were sponsored by Pornhub. I'm a, I, I thought I told I'm you I'm a very, I'm a be very worried about it. No, only Dan See, need, needs that. Don't worry, chat. Yeah, you can't, you can't see it, Devil. Don't. I mean, yeah. Can you wait uh, stuff? Inkix, is it possible for you to move the? Uh... Ha! It works. I put it in chat. There you oh, go, buddy. God. <laughs> is it possible for you to move the uh, b -b 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 the the chat inputs that's on the that comes through the stream? Is it possible for you to move that actually over to the right? Because like right now, it's actually over like everybody's name on the left side, and yeah, it makes it, it really over, hard to read them. If it goes over the right, I mean, that that was kind of the point. I figured it'd be in front of the roll numbers if it's on the right. Also, how's the sound for the music going? Is it good? Oh, I have my muted. Is it too care. loud? I'm scared for when you just turn it on full blast. I get deaf. Mm. Yeah, I've got Solved. my volume set at like 60% coming through my master music volume thing, and I hear nothing. Solved. Might have to refresh. Don't you have control over the volume? Refreshing! Well, it's I, playing I the volume, Fantastic Dim Bar by Kevin MacLeod. Because literally every track we use is by Kevin MacLeod. We were sponsored by Kevin MacLeod's porn of account. <laughs> I'm, gonna up, I'm gonna look up to see if he actually has a porn of account. Why would he have a Pornhub account? And she if he did, one? why wouldn't... Don't you share status updates on yours? I do. I don't... Like, Facebook. like who has <laughs> a Pornhub account? <laughs> do you, do you I not could. have one? Oh, well, we, we have very different lives, I guess. Well, we learned something about Jacob today, whether we wanted to or not. Well, I, I made it my mission. Part in every man's life. 
Can I have we some sort of account? We okay. Will be sponsored by Pornhub. I, I I admire Jacob's goal in life. Damn, I got a second request for that pic that that demon you're photoshopping for him. Ra do you, Raptor, do you make it can, Pornhub can you get rid of this turn order that's on my screen? Because it will not go away. Are you just make it small. <sighs> okay. Okay. Since 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 you want something like that, Thank you. I'll give you something that you'll be happy about. Could not. That I made it. when I was bored, really, really bored one day, and I wanted to mess with someone on my Discord. Oh no. Oh no. I am already loving it already. I don't even know what it is. Here you go. Everybody waits in Discord like patiently. Oh god, Zontan, why? <laughs> that's amazing. That's Slanesh. <laughs> that, that's an agent of Slanesh right there. What the hell is that? <laughs> is it praising the sun god? Why? Yeah. It's purple. Cause zone. <laughs> I knew they would bring up a bunch. Shouldn't of they be praising things. the tentacle god? What do you or think she's reaching out for? What do you think Slanesh is? He is the tentacle god. Yeah. Okay. Also, Jacob, you have the camera token again, so have fun. Oh, am I in charge of that? Oh, because I'm not. Okay, I get you. I mean, you can see now. You can see inside. You don't I have to look at the stream it. to I'm see. Getting a wide angle. <laughs> Let's go. That chat bar is supposed to let me be able to like type in it. But no, it's being a dick. That one's even more of a dick. This... This is... This place is ran by freaking anime demon, like, cafe characters. Great. You assume they're running the show. You know what's funny? I don't. I wasn't with you guys, so I don't know who is next to you guys as part of your group or not. <laughs> There's such a large fucking group of you guys walking in that door. Well, I see that one of the tokens changed, but I know exactly who it is. Oh, Raptor, I know exactly why I didn't recognize Envy the very first time I saw her token uh, in this again. Uh, you, yeah, made her, you, you, uh, you're, you're more zoomed in on uh, this Envy's token. Old Envy uh, was more zoomed out, and you could see her massive tits. Once again, sponsored by Pornhub. <laughs> you guys act like it would be hard to keep that sponsorship. I mean, apparently Brothers wants to sponsor, like, everything, so... Yeah, but Brothers is under Pornhub. It's like, where's Pornhub? Okay, first of all, whichever one sponsors us is the better one, alright? Gotta learn that shit real quick. <laughs> alright? Oh my god, we've been stre- <laughs> Oh my god. Well, we've been yeah, streaming for how our long? Shit together. I wouldn't worry about it too much. How long together? I mean, so we, uh, we've been streaming for how long now and we have not done a single bit of D. We're <laughs> getting that first break out of the way real quick. Apparently. Pretty freaking uh, hard. Right. Uh, why is there no large empty tables? There are tables. But there's well, no <laughs> one singular large empty table. Does there have to be? It'd be harder to have like fun plot conversations. Oh, well, you guys are free to move. Welcome to the bar. All right. Well, uh, I need to get that curse off you, buddy. He uh he he is currently passed out in Xana's arms. So actually, let's just move here. There you go. I colored them red. He also called it. There you go. <laughs> let's go sit at a table so I can remove the curse. I, I don't I don't I don't have the curse. Not you. Just we we need to walk 
whale's body over to somewhere I can, you know, cast at him. If I, I wasn't, if I wasn't unconscious right now, I'd be very intrigued. <laughs> I will carry, I will carry Wayo over and ask this nice lady. Say, I, I apologize to disturb you, ma'am, but we have a very large group of people, and uh, we kind of all should probably sit at one table because we need to talk. And all what? Say say what again? I was asking you. You're kind of all what now? Oh, I, I was asking this lady sitting at the table. I was coming up to her while carrying Wayo and saying, I, I apologize to bother you, but we have a large group of people. Can I ask you to move to another table so that way we can all sit together? We need to have a talk. She doesn't look amused, but she's Please. willing to move. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. As I, I, as I pet on Wayo's back. <laughs> Yay! Hey Wayo, go ahead, and move yourself onto the center of this table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan, move, move Wayo's token to the, yeah, the center of the table. In between, yeah, like right in between Truth and <laughs> Xana. <laughs> Reconciliation. Don't, don't even remind me. Do not remind me of that mission right now. I'm trying to be happy in kicks. <laughs> and Xana will wave over to Envy and Holland to join them. Okay. Well, apparently this doesn't actually take very long, so I'm just going to cast Remove Curse on the boil. It says I can remove all curses on said object, but I assume I'm just going to be removing the, uh, the ring one. I mean, you can try to remove his fire curse. I, I could. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah, then just go ahead and try to just remove all curses. I got sort of the ring. But does it also... Let me check. Well, I guess I would have to cast it on the ring. I could try casting this on you later, but not right now, because I've got it, you know, once per day. Okay. So that's basically just the ring gone. Yep. Well, the ring's, what, unequipped? I mean, basically well, unequipable. He's wearing it, but, yeah, I'm not taking it off his body. It's just... Not cursed as long as I beat the, the curse. I mean, technically, can we even... Like, he's in fox form, so he has, like, nothing on him. He's just a fox with a nightcap <laughs> on his head. Oh, yeah, if he if he if if he's not in, in a shape that I can access the ring, then I can't do shit to it. Well, you just accidentally removed the fire curse, then. Well, I, I would be attempting to cast it on the ring, and if I'm, if I'm looking around and he's just not wearing it right now, or not visibly wearing it, then I'm just going to be like, alright, I'll just wait until he stops doing that. Yeah. Which may be a while. Santa's going to like... Hey, that looks pretty good. Xana's Zan like looking around, just like noticing everybody sitting down, just like where butt sausage go. You see her at the the bar. Also, let me just give you a bit of a, a imagery in, in the aspect of where you're kind of sitting. It's not just a regular tavern. This looks like it used to be an old church. Interesting. That explains the hands. It also, or sarcophaguses, or whatever you want to call them. I was thinking that's kind of what they looked like, uh, you know, sarcophagi, but, you know. Where is it? Santa's very uncomfortable. You get back into your non-existent oh, hiding. Oh, no! I tried! 
You can't God break says, that wall. God says you are not here. I am pretty much. That's why you have the camera token, buddy. I was getting ready to say, technically, you are here. In spirit. As the cameraman. The cameraman. Do -do -do. The cameraman can. Alrighty. So you're all sitting around the table. Yeah. If you want to discuss anything, feel free. Well, I'm gonna... Xana definitely wants butt sausage over here, so... She's busy having a conversation with the bartender. Okay, if I can if I can see that she's actually talking to somebody about something, he will not interrupt her. He's just okay. We'll 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 talk to her later. But this, yeah, we we, we need to talk to her. So yeah, I guess Zan just like looks at everybody. So you made it out of air quotes prison. Yep. I think we should have a moment of silence for Wizard Boy that I convinced at the last minute to uh, throw himself into a series of events that caused his death. Yeah, that was kind of your fault. <laughs> I mean, otherwise he would have just been in the prison, right? I mean, he, he, he left with the intention of being free. And for a few moments, he got to live that dream. I'll tell you. To wait off my mind to being free. Yes. Holland kind of raises his hand and is like, but he never made it out of the prison. See, Zana, he didn't think about that at the last moments. When Holland says that Xana does the does the freaking uh, Ant Man uh, homies bit where the the dude snapped his fingers and you know points at the guy, it's just like, yes, that. <laughs> exactly. So, do we have any clue exactly where we are? I know Truth looks over at, uh, uh, not Truth, uh, Xana looks over at Truth, just like, I know you've, like, read something about something in a book. You you said something about what this place was called. Inkix? Yeah, apparently that didn't save. I forgot what the name of this place was something similar to that Dan I, I wrote it down Stez what was this called push to talk yeah I've been talking I, I guess not the ad center room okay there we go The Ad Cinerum. Just from the name, I think it has something to do with math. It also sounds like it has something to do with fire. Cinders. That sounds like a leap of logic. I think it's just math world. <laughs> Eight intelligence, bro. <laughs> just like, yeah, so anyhow, it's bad. There's a lot of evil things here. We need to try to figure out a way to get out of here. Uh, speaking of which, looks at the group. So I, I mean, we, we need we need to talk points over at bus, you know, butt sausage at the bar. We need to talk to her about that. It seems like she might have an idea of how to get out of here. Maybe. Uh, Truth, I know you don't know anything about this. I starts looking around. Oh wait, everybody here doesn't know anything about this. I'm the only one that survived that. That's here. Uh, met her in a cultist lair outside of uh, Tinder Spice. She What's was a Tinder Spice. The little witch out in the corner says, "It's a place." She does she respond? Does she just say what? So she, what she say again? Just make sure I heard you right. So what's a tinder spice? It, uh, well, like I said, it's a place. She has no context of this place. Okay. Yeah, that's all that's that's all I'm gonna give her. It's a place. 
I mean, that's probably as specific as we can be anyway. Yeah, I mean, really, really, I mean, in relation, like, us as players and, you know, us as players, we have no actual, like, general location as to, like, where it is in the world. We just know it's a place. But, uh... So, but yeah, so uh, met her in uh, Tender Spice. Uh, Tender Spice. She uh, was in a cage, like with a summoning circle, and I broke that circle, and we un uh, or and I unlocked the door, or she unlocked it. I can't remember. All I know is I let her out, and she blew up a lot of bad guys. So, and now she's here, and she saved us. So, I'm really happy about that decision. I did a Colin raises his hand and mentions, uh, what well, was planned that got us out of here? Apparently, she just technically found us after the fact that we left. Correct, Holland. But she was apparently coming to get us anyhow. But she also led us to somewhere. looks around safe? Uh, I mean, no one's tried to attack us, or eat us, or steal years of our life yet, so, you know, not not the worst place we could be. But I'm eager to get back to the, air quotes, real world. Mm -hmm. yeah, not here. I do wish to go back to my life. I think we all do. And Son of a bitch. Of getting out of here, if she does know how to get out of here, I... Maybe it might involve, uh... So, Truth, remember how I told you I saw that dude in my sleep? Which dude? Uh, the, uh... The, the, the scraggly, rogue-looking gentleman that I mentioned. I suppose. As far as I'm concerned, he's in your head. Okay, you don't remember. I, I'll take your vacant stare and your staring off at the distance as you don't remember. I said shit. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, he's in your head. Okay, well, uh, so remember that mirror that we uh, found as soon as we walked in to the armory area? Sure. I still think that was in library. Books, library checks out. Yeah, books, library, yes, checks out. I agree with that. It it was a weird place. It didn't make sense. Xana pulls uh, pulls out the uh, cele the book in Celestial that's about a black goat. Just like found this, so I'm gonna read that later. Puts back in pack. But uh, it's like yeah. So as soon as we entered, I saw him behind me, which freaked me out. Turned around, he wasn't there. And when we were starting to leave again. And I was the only one still inside of there. He was in the mirror. And he was talking to me. And that's why that sword's not attached to my hands now. He snapped his fingers and suddenly, it's gone. The sword was no longer, like, stuck to me. And I broke it. And then I threw it at the mirror. So you're admitting you're crazy. I mean, it's, it's great that you're taking the first step. We can get you some help later. I don't think there's any, I'm like, uh, therapists around here. But, uh... I'm not crazy. What I'm saying is... The dude... Obviously exists in some way, shape, or form. How he is attached to me, I do not know. I wouldn't say obviously. Okay, how does someone have the power to suddenly make a curse stop being a curse while not being there? Was it cursed? I'm not convinced it was cursed. I couldn't let go of it. Yes, it was cursed. That sounds more like a mental thing, man. Also, that points more also, towards my theory than yours. No, also, I couldn't let go of it, and it was draining my blood. Well, dangerous magic. That's all I'm hearing. Santa is just staring at you with an eye twitching in anger. And frustration just... Hey, we got plenty of crazy people. The guy, the guy up at the bar is also pretty crazy. Can't confirm.
but anyhow. So that guy said he's around here and he knows how to get out of here. Maybe we need to find him? I don't know. Isn't he just, like, in your head? <sighs> hey, my theory or yours, why do you think he's in a physical location? Because he's not acting like he's in my head. He said, come find him. You don't tell somebody to come find somebody if they're just in your head. Yeah, you do. Find him in your head. Who is echoing here? Not me. Dan, you are echoing. How am I echoing? Uh, yeah, you were you were echoing through when speakers and going through. Yeah. Just load the volume, then you'll be fine. Oh. Maybe yeah. uh, it's it's probably uh blah, blah, blah. something's coming through somewhere. On occasion. Yeah. Do you like have speakers? Through. It, well, you are on a Mac, so it might be coming through. It might be coming through a bit through your your Mac my, speakers. My PC speakers are muted. Oh, it's coming you know, through it somehow. Audio is only coming through through my headset. And I'm well, to so. Maybe you have my problem where the things you're hearing are coming through the uh, the mic, and that's why I'm on push to talk in the first place. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's going on right now, so I think we're good for now. It's like it's like going back and forth, but there for a moment that whole entire conversation I was hearing with Ian Kicks was doubled up. Either way. But yeah. It's like no, he, he it seems like that guy exists, so you know, I'm not crazy. I don't know, man. I don't ha have any like like personal experience with your mind ghost. But maybe you should search your mind, that's my advice. I meditate plenty, and that dude's never been there before, so, you know. Yeah. We're in another realm. Maybe he possessed you. Who knows? Why trust him at all? I don't. But I'm desperate to get away from this place. You called me dumb for being desperate to leave the prison. We're free. Leaving here isn't a high priority. It very well is for me. You barely know where we are, and you're upset about being here? Okay, everything here is a bunch of evil... Well, I, I shouldn't say evil, because, I mean, everything's not attacking us immediately, so that's not evil evil. But everything here is demons, fire, and death. I'm not exact. I'm, I'm not exactly happy about that. No. This could, be the, this could be the land of chocolate. You don't know. I've tried looking the ground. I'm not doing that. Exactly. Exactly my point. We know that the prison was full of demons. We don't know that everywhere else is dangerous. Xana points at directly behind you at the table that the girl is sitting at, and then there's another demon that's. That's the same kind of demon that was at the prison. Yeah? You being racist? I got those horns. Those aren't the same kind of horns. He's obviously different than you. Claudia. By the way, way high-butt sausage, would you like to have a seat? Pat's the bench next to him. She has to return to her conversation. She was just passing you guys mead right now. She mentions it's on the house. Okay. I think it's on the table, but thank you. Is, is there something think... besides mead? I'm going to pass mine to the truth. Nope. I, I'm swearing off alcohol until we get out of here, because uh, I must have been on one hell of a drinking trip to get here. All right. I'll give it to Whale. Xana will hand his off to anybody who wants it. Actually, wait. He'll 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 purposely give it to Envy if she wants it. I know. She drinks hers and is done. Yay! We funnel it into Wayo so that when he wakes up, he's drunk. That, that sounds like a terrible idea. It sounds like it sounds a like great a idea. idea. You totally do it. His mouth. His mouth is. This is what you guys gonna show. do? No. I, that's what I'm doing with at least one of these meads. All right. Oh. I'll call freedom of the mind. Exactly. 
So now someone like, gets it. His it's mouth like is also tied shut. That is true. Untied. I see that. Oh, you're gonna untie. All right, we're doing this. No, Xana will. Xana will grab Wayo and just pull him. It's like no, my friend. My friend too. That's why I'm getting him drunk. He'll have a lot of fun that way. <laughs> He doesn't need to be drunk. He needs to sleep. Leave him alone. Pet, pet. Drunk sleep. More fun. <laughs> I like how the goal is just to get Whale the biggest hangover when he wakes up. No. Xana Z- will not let you do this. This is not happening. You if can't he stay... To drink, if he chooses to drink when he wakes up, by all means he can do that. You are forcing something that is not his choice. You are taking away his freedom, Truth. No, I'm freeing his mind. I feel like we should have to do like a counter diplomacy or some crap here. I'm on. I'm on the side. Player versus player, you're not going to convince me otherwise. <laughs> well, you're going to have to rip, rip Wayo from Xana's arms. You can't be awake forever, Xana. That's what you think. <laughs> In fact. Slumber. Alright, Dirk, gonna have to make that check. Wait, doesn't it? That will isn't check. It a, isn't it a radius that affects the lowest health person? No. no. Why a specific target? <laughs> Alright, uh, What am I rolling? That, that would be funny if it just knocked out Will. You have to roll DC <laughs> Will. Will. There we go. I got the gif. Oh. It's drunk, Wayo. You wanted an opposed roll. Here's an opposed roll. That's a fail. Alright, so for X amount of time, Xana is sleeping. It's like a minute. Yep. Like in real time, it's like a minute. Alright, quickly, funnel him. Just, just letting you guys know, Xana still has, like, death grip on Wayo. Oh? So, so you're shaking Xana while you're, you're funneling alcohol into uh, Wayo. Sure, yeah. Uh, I want you guys to make a dex check. I just want to see something a little bit. God, what's my dex at? I need to fucking pull up my B-armor sheet. Anyway, uh, yeah, do me a dex check. There you go, there's the dex check. Why are we wasting the crits against each other? <laughs> I'm wondering why someone, you know... Alrighty. That says so, Kaelin... Or other While you're funneling beer into, uh, or meat into thing. Whale's mouth, you kind of spill some on, uh, Xana. Uh, Thomas, not a single drop is wasted. Excellent. <laughs> now, Whale, well, I want you to do a fort, uh, fort check. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, shit. No problem. I think this is the best thing for you, so this is why I... Then, you know. Doing this. Wait, what? Uh, You're fucking smashed. (laughs) Unconscious and drunk. Yeah, when you wake up, you're still gonna feel some of that smash. (laughs) Take away the whole stress of that whole endeavor. Hopefully you won't be insane now. (laughs) <laughs> you see F. Mary come back to you guys. He's like, oh, so you guys are partying already? Correct. I guess, uh... Zan over there partied a little too hard, huh? Correct. <laughs> a minute passes. 
Zanny, you're back awake. A nice nap. The hell just happened. I thought you needed a, a bit of a, you know, chilling, chilling time. Why do I smell like alcohol? Sorry, uh, I gave in to my temptations and decided to uh, try to drink, but uh, I spilt it. I try to clean up as best as I can. I don't believe you. Partying is messy, sir. Why Why does Wayo also smell like alcohol? Spillage. Uh, I it on yeah, I spilled it on Wayo as well. <laughs> Biz, would you hold my friend? <laughs> Which one? The dog? Yes. Xana <laughs> Xana is starting to hand you Wayo. Will you hold my friend for a moment, please? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just passing around whale. <laughs> why, why am I holding a dog? <laughs> because Xana's about to jump over the table and attack freaking Truth. <laughs> Derps and Dice is sponsored by Friendship. <laughs> friendship. Magical. Friendship. Much friendship. Shall I roll a crap? Getting your unconscious friends drunk and then starting bar fights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall I roll for a crap? That depends on what you're doing. I'm Are going to gonna literally crap? stand up, jump over the table, and jump on top of freaking Truth and pin him to the ground. Okay, so first thing you'd have to do is, if you're going to do that in one fluid motion, you're going to have to do an acrobatic then grapple. You Whoa. fall on top of the thing. <laughs> Did party a little too hard. Maybe you should just take a seat, my man. If I'm on top of the table at this point, I can still take a swing at him. Hey, if you're doing that, I'm casting a uh, misfortune on you. Alrighty. The imp is returning to you all right now. She looks at Whale being carried by Biz and Dirk flopped over the table. And she questions, what is going on here? Don't touch my dog. Crazy there. guy is getting crazier by the minute. Holland uh, just mentions the truth. He just tells his side of the story. If you guys are satiated, we must travel. We must go. I must take you guys back to the manor. Back to the manor? Well, I've been there, but... And your friend has been there. What, what, what manor? What friend? What sort of manor is this? No. Oh. Jim Lee, your friend. The manor as in the household that I reside in. And I must take you back then. Why Why does it always have to be a manor? Why is it never like a shack? I mean, demonic shacks are for dretches. He, she points over to the, the filth over there. That are orgies. No. Demon orgies are very lustrous and require the finest of manners. I thought they took place in love shacks. <clears throat> no. That's where the breeding pits for the dredge lie. Hey Biz, can I have my friend back now, please? I, I kinda I kinda wanna I keep petting the dog. 
Is Wayo an emotional support animal? Uh, I would, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'm just like iconic like emotional support animal. <laughs> I would, I would very much like to be able to hold and protect my friend, but and I will not stop you from petting him as we travel. Does that uh, work? Uh, all right, I, I, I hand him Wayo reluctantly, but I still do it. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I mean, given his skill set, he is pretty much an emotional support animal, right? Right. So, if there's anything else you'd like to do here, if not, then we will be finding on. We'll be flying out of here. Uh, I, I'll, I'll continue flipping off the guy at the other table, assuming that's the guy that drove us into the prison. But that's, that's all I'm concerned about. You're assuming that's his clue? Yeah. He looks at you and smiles. Alright. Du- double double fingers. Maybe middle fingers are like a symbol of like, like kindness and help. He licks his middle finger. Third finger with the tail. Oh. You start seeing making like a blowjob motion, and he winks at you. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, sponsored by Pornhub. Uh, okay. Just sorry, before sorry. you go, you notice that uh, one of the ugly little motherfuckers at the bar kind of falls over. The one of the ones with the dots fall over. The red one. He falls over his chair. The guy that looks like he's shot in the head? Kind of. Yeah. That that one just falls over. Alright. Well. Kind of foaming at the mouth, but that that's okay. That, that's totally fine by me. <laughs> might or might not be the fault of the guy we brought here. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Let's go. We're leaving. No, leave him. No, he helped. He's my buddy. He didn't... Uh, well, all he did was help in the riot. He helped in the riot and the distraction plan. He makes his way over to you guys. He tossed the dude bodily out of that pit. Not once, but twice. He seems like a powerful ally, regardless of how lewd he is to you. It makes people fly without wings. I'm impressed. Does he still have two legs, or...? <laughs> he has two legs, yeah. He just has a very deep cut in one of his legs. Hey, I healed that. You did. But it's still scarred. It wasn't a deep cut, it was a stab. Cut, was a cut. stab. It was not just a stab. <laughs> Okay, good. So I have meta knowledge that it was in fact something Jim Lee did. No, I didn't do shit. You didn't do it. I have a uh what's my dexterity and strength? I have a four strength and a five dexterity. No, 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 no. I did not tear up a leg. No, no Zana suspected it had something to do with Jim Lee getting out while Yeah, but you said it was knife. meta knowledge, so it's I'm not sure. I can tell you meta knowledge wise, it definitely wasn't Jim Lee. Jim Lee has nowhere near enough strength to do that kind of damage. Yeah, I know. I figured I I did it, but I figured Xana did it. But I'm like, but Jim Lee. I'm I'm think I was thinking that maybe Jim Lee did something to like, like cast something on me or something. I know he does like some kind of magic crap. So, and who knows? Maybe this just leads more credence to my crazy theory. Anyway, so. The imp gestures over and takes you guys outside. You follow her for a bit. And you see some strange looking man that looks like a weird... He, he looks like a priest. A weird priest with two antennae. Piccolo. Kind of. But not green. <laughs> white. So okay, so you, it's not vaccine. you die and show up here? I stepped in front of a giant energy beam in front of a child. 
<laughs> does, does that make me Krillin? Why can't you dodge? <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't Wayo be Krillin? He's not short. No. You, you don't have to be short to be Krillin. You just have you to be. Obvious, be no. obviously Android no. 16. No, Wayo is obviously Poir. Well, anyway. What talking about. Never mind. Uh, I was gonna let you finish. Nah, it's not important. I don't. I don't think we should. <laughs> Nothing that we're saying is important. Go ahead and continue. Alrighty. Well, anyway, she gestures over and she gives a hand signal, and the guy in what looks like a moth outfit summons a few gigantic moths. He tells you all to board on them, to get on them. Is it moths or? Moss. As in okay. multiple moths, flying bugs. They look like butterflies, but with fuzzy antennae. Well, not just that, but yes. Moss. I didn't bring my lamp. Xana oh, will be. Ha ah, ha ha. We need a fire rod to defeat these, not a lamp. You see, uh. The imp mount one of the moss. Okay, so so Butt Sausage gets on one. Okay, Xana will follow suit, seeing seeing Butt Sausage do it. Sure. Never going to mount. All right. You see, the others don't have any complaints, and they pair up with one of you guys. All right. Allow me to take you to the manor now. Give me a hot minute as I set that up real quick. Okay. So during that hot minute, we can take a break and you know, momentary thing and. Engage with chat and each other. I like to imagine that, like, everyone is riding it except for Wayo. You have him, like, cargo bobbed on the underneath of one of them. <laughs> Moths have legs, so they could probably carry Wayo. Yeah, that's. Zana no, is. Mean. Like, like, he, he's is... not on top, he's underneath. No, Zana is totally holding on to you. <laughs> I'm not letting go of my friendly doggo. <laughs> Mischief wink, managed. Operate. One wink if you need help. Wait, one wink if you need help. <laughs> Wait, he's unconscious. He he is asleep. <laughs> he's asleep for a while, working on exhaustion. <laughs> he's probably gonna go through a full rest. <laughs> actually, I probably am. Do I actually need a full rest? I think I got pretty messed up. Yeah, you haven't slept in several days. Yeah, you're gonna need at least one full rest. So, like, you're gonna have to have like at least eight hours of sleep at this point. Mm -hmm. And all he did was slumber you to initiate it, and you're gonna be out. <laughs> and then he continued to feed my character alcohol to keep it like that. <laughs> actually, at that point, if you're actually gonna go through a long rest, you shouldn't you shouldn't be sloshed or like have any of the like real symptoms of it anymore after that. Uh. I can attest that, depending on how drunk you are, especially if you're smashed, you can go to sleep drunk and wake up still drunk. <laughs> that is definitely 100% within the realm of possibility. It was just too Okay, weak. well, be prepared for drunk Wayo. You're He's a lightweight. Fire spells. <laughs> he is a lightweight. <laughs> yeah, that's why, why you're able to carry him. Posed a diplomacy check my ass. Sleepy time. Yeah, you're getting you're getting surprise punched at some point. <laughs> Not a great plan. Trying to sneak up on the prankster. I don't have to sneak up on you. You certainly will. If I have time to react, you're going down. If I'm standing next to you, you don't have time to react. I don't know. A foldable chair. I'm fairly fast, and I can permanently blind, as we discussed in the last session. Inkix, all I gotta say is you better back off. Hey, man. 
I'm doing what I feel is the best course of action. I saw him going insane. I think you're going a little more seriously than I am. My stuff is defensive, not damage. What, Piano Land? Well, I can't hear piano, so, you know. That's all I hear is piano. I, I, literally, I literally hear nothing right now, so I've, I've, got, I've got nothing, no music, nothing. Did you mess with the Roll20 sound settings? Yeah, I tried doing all that. I refreshed and everything. I've got nothing. Your music volumes on Mac? Master music volumes on Max? Yep. Bam. There's a barrel up top in here that says snake oil. It actually says snake oil. And I see that Dan <laughs> underlined it. <laughs> oh. It is like Ultimark. At least every single scene with at least some type of doodle. <laughs> I actually hear music now. <laughs> the power of doodles. As you are flying towards the manor, you see a very deep, dark manor. You see the river blood flowing around you. It doesn't look like it's coming from the manor, obviously, but it's a black manor. The imp leads you inside and welcomes you to the manor. <laughs> Guys, I think it's a manor. Yeah. Don't, but don't get me wrong. Why is it never a manor? So it's indeed a manor. I think Someone needs to have like whale around their shoulders like a like a fur scarf. <laughs> no. no you insane. also see whales. a familiar friend on the balcony above you guys. It's uh it's Jimly. Can you see above the balcony? <laughs> hey! No. The balcony. You guys yeah. can't see him, but but <laughs> he, can... he can see you. <laughs> yeah. He, he's up there. I, I like it how the two statues up here and uh, the darkness coming from that wall almost makes like a a face with a mustache and a frowny face. Oh my god, yeah. It does. <laughs> I can't see down to you guys. I looked at the stream and I yeah. can tell where you guys are, but I can't see down to you guys. We're just at the bottom of the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Too short to see over the railing, obviously. <laughs> railing was made for normal height people. How long would you say that flight is? Uh, roughly two hours. Not super long, but Man, just long enough. Hmm. You should be awake now, Will. Was it a long rest? Yeah, you're fully rested, my boy. Yes! Unfortunately, I'm gonna need seven days of consecutive long rest to, the, to lower down my sanity score, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, she gestures Jim Lee to come down the stairs to regroup with your friends. You didn't but get Jim Lee's sight. Jim Lee can't see. Oh. <laughs> How do you see the gesture? 
I can see the camera sees, but I can't see what I see. <laughs> Do you, you see sorry. what I see? There you go. You you have sight, right? A dwarf. Yeah, a dwarf. <laughs> shivers in the cold. <laughs> this is getting sadder and sadder. Stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> This is like March of the Penguins, so I'm sad. <laughs> Here we see the lone dwarf alone in the window wilderness. Without you a guys... mate, keep him warm for the winter. <laughs> you guys left me in the jail. What do you mean, I mean left you I in the jail? You guys, in... never mind. Let's not think about that. <laughs> yeah, you want to bring that? You left us in the jail. <laughs> hey guys, I found a way out of the jail. By the way, I'm just saying. Freaking you should stay there for a couple. Why did I wake up with a knife in my hand? And a guy stabbed. More importantly, why is he best friends with you right now? He is not. Uh, <laughs> He's <laughs> deep. As soon as I see Dirk talking to me, I look at him, and I like wait for nobody else to stare at me, I start waving, Hi, ghost buddy! Who's the ghost? What? I'm waving to Xana. Like, what's to up, her, ghost buddy? To her left. You, you get no response. She gestures over to the left. The three of you get to stay in the rooms to the to the left. And then she gestures over to the right. The three of you and the rest of the guests that were unaccounted for get to stay in the rooms to the left. Where was going to go left? Uh, she, she said, she's not referring upstairs, my buddy. She, she, I'll have to point you in the right direction. But I guess queue up for which side you want to go on. So left or right, etc. Xana, Xana would be staying with Wayo. I've touched Fox for. I must I'm, have. I'm I'm right next to Xana. <laughs> I'm right. Everyone next to Xana. wants to go. Everyone goes left with Wayo. It's like I guess we're gonna get bunk beds. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm going right. Mara goes to the right. It's like, oh, I see if you guys have decided for us, so I guess I'll go on this side, take a room. I guess, Truth, you're on the right, too. Yeah. I mean, we're not smashing all into one area. I need room. <laughs> Freedom. America. America. What about, uh, uh, Jibble, you're just, you're just hanging close to, uh... Yeah, I'm right next to Xana. Okie dokie. Alright, so I'll take you guys to your rooms. Well, not to your rooms, Wait, but to the hallway. where'd right, Roland go? Decide for who. Huh? Roland. Oh, Holland, right. Yes. Did you forget an NPC? So it happens <laughs> we have 30 of them. <laughs> we, need a Z we need an NPC purge is what we need. Are you I knew I was missing that something. Do you have a quest to Thanos snap? <laughs> yes. I will, I will make you the gauntlet. I am the dwarf. <laughs> Oh, I can just imagine we get to that point, and we're like, wait, are we the bad guys? <laughs> uh, I, I did kind of slip my mind, but yes, he is here too. There we go. I think he was related to the quest we had. He was. Okie dokie. Man is so, the only one who cares about it at this point. I'll put you guys to the hallways of your rooms. Ghosts don't pay money. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Xana doesn't care about money. He's free. That was the part of the job we were supposed to do. We were supposed to take him back to Tinder Spice. That was actually supposed to be our job. She's a ghost. How would she know? We also don't know she's a ghost. Holland says Just she is. Assuming. Well, the thing is that she he said she was dead. And then you're just like, oh, so it was a ghost. We don't know that that was actually his mother or a ghost or what. We just know that we were told to do a job. Even less reason. So it's just me and F. Mare over here? No, I'll correct him in a moment, but... Jim Lee is insistent on being next to Xana right now. <laughs> I've got questions for him anyhow. Ghost buddy. 
Kaelin, are you in? Oh, Kaelin's the bathroom. Never mind. I'm gonna ask if he's in. Stand up straight, whale. <laughs> said stand up straight. I said stand up straight, not lay on the floor. I put whale in defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your defense mode is lay on the floor sideways behind Xana. No, it's going to Fox form and catch friends on any hostile. <laughs> and then just be and just be like the cat that just like walks in between like people's legs and just rubbing. Just like I need friend. to do that. I need to kill the final boss by tripping him downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> like that clip. Like, like he's that clip. not fucking Nakayama. Like that freaking clip from uh, from Robot Chicken. Cats are jerks. <laughs> no, I mean like, you could even just use Wayo and Fox One to tabletop someone. I feel like it would give advantage on like a shove check. Trip them. Why? Because would it be just a trip? Someone. No, because like. You you know, you know how it works? It's like someone goes on all fours behind someone, and then you shove them over the person. Yes, so but the I intent is to trip. Oh yeah, you're yeah. What you're talking about with something like that? Yeah, you could you could probably be standing behind them, and you could help catch their lower legs. But you would probably have to make a strength check to stay in place. Yeah. And you ain't so good at those. Yeah, I need some magic items. <laughs> I think I'll stand on this side for now. I was gonna say I should start. St I guess I could start over there, but I'll correct them in a minute once it it would make sense more that way. Bye. All right. But if anyone has questions for the imp, you may ask away right now. As she's leading you guys to your rooms. Will you guys be offering food? <laughs> yes. We will awesome. gladly offer catering to your needs. That is my uh, only one and only question. Hooray, sustenance. Drink. Hooray, sustenance. So, uh, butt sausage, why did you come back for... Wait, why did you even come for us to begin with? That was actually something that was never explained. Also, what's your name? I, I don't like calling you butt sausage, but it's like the only thing we know you by. <laughs> Well, you may address me as Claudia, and you can also address me as your boss, for now. As for Wait, why I came to retrieve you guys, well, for one, we've been keeping an eye on you, and we feel that you may be able to help our cause. You see, I don't like the way you put a long pause before the word cause. I also don't like the fact that you refer to you as our boss. I don't I don't like that at all. I don't like anyone telling me that they are my boss. I mean, as long as I'm getting paid, I'm fine for it. And you will be paid. Alright, I'm on board. Alright. I just want to get home. Well, I say home, but... I have a wedding to attend. Oh, you might be sorely disappointed, unfortunately. Why? Time works differently here. Someone <laughs> mentioned something about that, but it was a little foggy on how that works. Mm, the time you... you were at is long gone now. Well, not long gone, but... it's gone. I mean, yeah, that's why it's called the past. Look, there's a past there when I ask you the question if you're my boss. Bam. Long gone. Right. No. True. Anyway, the first room here, if you want it, it is yours, Biz. Alright. Uh... <laughs> One, two. Uh, sure, uh, can, can I get a room next to, uh, whichever one, uh, Wayo picks? Okay. Well. Wayo gives you a very confused look. I guess Wayo will be in the middle, then. <laughs> but of course. Ghost, ghost buddy. Ghost buddy. <laughs> mm. 
I'm gonna keep tugging on the back of Zayna's outfit. It's ghost buddy. You just get the slow you know response. Turn. What? Are you in there, ghost buddy? Who the heck are you talking about? Not you, stupid husk. Where's ghost buddy? <laughs> All right, there is now a gauntleted hand picking you up by the collar and lifting you to eye level with himself. I'm going to start You have to make a, a strength check, buddy. It's, it's not good. See if you go away. <laughs> no, it's not, but you still have to, has to. Actually, I do weigh 170 pounds on my way down. Yeah, you barely lift him. You, you, you maybe just lift him an inch off the ground. Uh, I would say that, uh, Jim Lee feels slight excitement from this. He's like, whee! <laughs> like a toddler in this, what the hell is that? No, but no. Since, since you're old, you don't like, you know, creaking your old bones, so you think he's doing you a favor. He's creaking them for you. <laughs> anyway, proceed. I'm just gonna start whispering wanted over and over again, like trying to whistle like a dog. Wait. You hear no just whistling really badly? Yeah. How if you were gonna like call a dog like wanted, wanted a whistle? Well Whale is just gonna like go behind you and just slowly put his hand over your mouth because he's apparently <laughs> hung over. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, shh, as he keeps walking. <laughs> he has, he has fox hearing. <laughs> we'll talk to anyway. you guys, buddy. <laughs> Santa will literally go to whatever door, like, as he's passing her, it's just, what room is available? I'm j I'm, I'm j put me in a room, I'm... The very last one. <laughs> this one? No. Yes, that one. And Xana's in it. Slams door. Alright, Jim Lee, if you come with me, we'll get you accommodated in the other wing. Oh, I wasn't this supposed to go this cool up. I want to be near Ghost, buddy! Uh... Okay, I guess it's a left. Oh, you know. Oh shit, we warped. Hey, friends! Hey, old man. Claudia greets you all. Oh, hello. Let me get you guys accommodated, and then we'll decide who gets to talk to the Lord. Or the Master. Or whatever you want to call him. None of the above. But, uh, where, where, where'd my buddies go? The other wing. No, no, no. They've already been accommodated. Other buddies. Oh, you mean your friends we didn't accommodate for? Correct. They're also in the other wing. They're currently sharing a room together. Alrighty then. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, terrible idea. Well, either way. Don't don't shove them all into the broom closet. They're, they're gonna they're gonna fucking like whirlwind like a bag of cats. You, you, need, to, you need to just put a stop to that right right now. <laughs> that is no concern of mine. But regardless, allow me to take you to your rooms. I swear, if Holland dies because of this, all right. Well, uh, what's your name, by the way? You may call me Claudia, and as I told your friends, you may also call me. Uh, no. But that's not the name that's on my hand, ma'am. Right, the name on your hand is Silic. My boss. Alright, so you're just putting names all over people. I got gotcha. you. Not even your name. You're gonna write you're gonna write a name on someone's body without their consent, and it's gonna be someone else's. That's weird. Well, I was compelled to do it. It's my job to mark you guys. It's his job to own you guys. Anyway. I, I don't like that sentence. 
She just over to her left. This right here is Jimley's room. If you also have it. Uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and my room. Ethmer asked one question. Will we be provided reading material? Hey, I got a book Body for you. Mentions. Oh, you do? Yep. If you know, you know, demon languages, you can go through this book for some information about the realm we're in. Well, yeah, you just cut out Raptor. If you think it would be wise, I could do a quick... Oh, absolutely. If you're looking to read... I think reading about the place we're in is probably a best, the best use of your time. Alrighty. I'll get right to it, then. I hand over the magically charged book. I really hope it's not dangerous anymore. <laughs> Mara takes the book. Um, the imp gestures to left. If you have any concerns or questions for me... This is my room right here. Already. And right across from it is F. Mara's room. So if you would kindly take it. And. And truth to my right is your, your room. It is the final room down this hallway. Already. If you would kindly take it, you may. Well, I'm not sleeping in the hallway, that's for sure. Alright, each of you are in your room. You may decide to rest, or if you want to sneak out and explore, that's all you. The doors are not locked. Do these beds have, like, a mattress? Hmm? Do these beds have a mattress? Yeah, it's very comfortable. They're Where very comfortable accommodation. The mattress and the sheets to make like a small pillow fort against the desk, and then he's gonna go into Fox form and sleep under. All right. That is what Whale will do. Well, I'm going to fuss over my owl and probably go to sleep. Alright. Anyone going else want to do anything? Santa's going to attempt to meditate. Alright. Try to do it too well. calm down. And you, Jimlin? All right, all right, I typed it, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> and I assume the camera goes for explore. you, Biz, yeah? Yep. Sleep to sleep. Oh. Wait, are those statues aliens? No. Okay. They look like aliens. Those are the dragons. All right. I want. Million dollars. Santa, Weo, and Biz to make a perception check. Yeah. And you, I also want Truth to make a perception check. Alright. Actually, I want all of you to make a perception check. Scratch that. Okay. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who's got a plus 16 in perception? Yo. That'd be Biz. The bee man. Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Bigger number. Oh. I can fly, I can use magic devices, and I can perceive. Don't ask me to do anything else. What, what about fire? Yeah, and I see what somebody. the fuck you're doing right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I think he can, he's the best at fighting and killing people. Alrighty. For the boys on the left, y'all hear a lot of footsteps shifting around here and there. Nothing too serious, but you hear shifting. You hear a lot of movement. Down the hall. And around. Does this oh. door have a keyhole that can be clearly seen through if you peep through it? Yeah. It does. Santa, Santa I will look see nothing. It. You see nothing. But I hear footsteps going by. Yes. Like, I actually hear a footstep, like, passing in front of the door. Yes. Dan, what the heck Let's is that? Let's see, That's an RC car. <laughs> That's my pet robot. He's, he's 1,000 fists in the air. I'm going to uh, make a mental note to complain about the noise in the night, and I'm going to try to go back to sleep. Okie dokie. For the boys on the, on the right. You hear arcane sounds. Coming from the room next to you. That that's big. Yep. You hear a lot of uh hissing cracks and crackling going on. Alright. Uh, what's the Alrighty. Do you all uh, wish to go back to sleep? Yep. Yes. Alrighty. Let's start the next day then. Yeah. I I will make a mental note to ask people to do their spell casting in the daylight. Truth, do you hear a knocking at your door? Claudia mentions to you to meet everyone at the the entrance. And we'll get you accommodated for breakfast and shit. Better be some eggs. Jim Lee, you hear a knock at your door. I did not Same answer. kind of deal. I did not answer. She, no she mentions to meet everyone at the entrance for food and accommodations and to await your next orders. playing her game. I quietly... I assume you're, you're not going to leave your room? No, I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> okay. I have not had my book for a couple days. I need to read. Busy here knocking on your door. Same kind of uh, spiel. Food okay, accommodations await your next order. Immediately get out of bed at the mention of food and swing the door open as fast as I can and run out. Okie dokie. Well, same kind of spiel. <laughs> well, we'll crawl out from underneath the pile of debris that he has and just walk to breakfast. Alrighty. Xana, same to you. Yeah, he will reluctantly move where he's being asked to. Seems like he's gone from one prison to another. Maybe it's the realm of prisons.
uh, if you want your meal, just kindly ask the skull here, and he it will provide you your desired meal. And then I'll need one volunteer to meet the master. Uh, I'll walk up to the skull and uh, just demand the with word food. The what with word? What, what? I said in demand with just the word food. All right. Eggs. Letters come out of the skull. It, it, it's sausages, but it spells out food. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll take my plate and walk over <laughs> to One where second. the table is. Ethmera demands a humble breakfast and asks for Cheerios without the honey nuts. Because that's how you eat Cheerios. Heart healthy. My man. Hi, hi, don't. Don't steal honey from bees, it's not cool. <laughs> uh, but in reality, Ephmera asked for a simple dish. Some eggs. Just scrambled. With a like side of might, fruit. I feel like it might be a monkey ball. Also, like, you said eggs, but what kind of eggs? Well, eggs don't need to concern you. All of my hate. What about you, Rhea? What would you desire for food? For breakfast? That is a, that is a good question that Wayo doesn't even know. <laughs> no matter what, you have to say it in ten words. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Before he starts gabbing, I need to remove the curse. That is true. Because if he just doesn't shut up and burns down the place. <laughs> Alright. Bring bring your hand over here. Who gives you his hand? Alright. And cast remove curse on the ring. Where slips off the ring, catches it in his hand, and yeets it into the distance. <laughs> it bounces in a corner. Yeah, because I have five strings. <laughs> Does Wayo catch on fire because he just said yeet and nothing else? Yeet. No, this was yeet as a verb. Oh. You can, you can yeet without saying yeet? Is that yeah, allowed? Yeah, yeet, yeet is a verb. Yeah, but how, how can you verb without, like, saying it? Do you say run whenever you run? Yes. Yes. Santa I mean, does. every single one of my punches. <laughs> That's if your brain is completely vol- um, Completely voluntary, not involuntary, so you have to think about running to run. <laughs> I mean, while running, I'm definitely thinking, oh my god, why the hell am I running again? Why is this happening? Why? What? Stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Yeah, what, so yeah. The first thing, first thing we think of when you wake up in the morning is I think, I think what Wayo is going to get Hey, is... first thing I think about in the morning, if that's the case, is how do I bend my wood down? You just stick it in the waistband like everybody else does. Of course. Anyway. Lord, I'm... So Where's so... gonna get, Where's so gonna get a bucket of grapes? Oh, okay. Man. Grapes, that's nice. You get grapes. And they're gonna have their skin peeled. <laughs> and their oh skin peeled. So just a bucket of eyeballs? <laughs> you <laughs> weirdo. Can I, can I get a gluten free sandwich from the skull? You're not there. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, I remember? want food. Can I get hungry? I want to get food. Can I want food? Alright, but you're the last one getting food. Can you want food? I didn't realize they were feeding us. I just thought I was in a jail cell again. They said breakfast. I thought it was a trap. The last so, time someone okay. talked to me in the middle of the night. Just, no, that's just, Biz. Just so we're clear, freaking Wayo chucked that ring somewhere. Yes. Santa's gonna go grab that thing. Okay. I am still a perfectly serviceable ring. Exactly. What was that thing called again? The Ring of Chatter. 
good? Now it's just the ring of ring. No, well. Can we just become salesmen? If you remove the curse from Wayo, I think yeah, the curse it allows. It's still cursed. It's, it's just, just whale is no longer cursed. No, no, it's, I didn't remove it from whale. I removed it from the ring. Then that's harder. All I have to do is beat its caster level. You'd have to roll for that then. It's not a roll. It's a will negation. I I, I don't like how wizards work in this. It's I just tell you what I'm doing. There's, I thought it was his level versus level. The level of his decurse versus the level of the freaking chain on the damn ring. Correct. If I if I if my I'm a higher caster level than the ring, I just win. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be the case because most enchant levels like that are like ridiculously high. For that, that's a pretty weak item. I mean, your caster level. It was like minus four to a bunch of stats. It was plus. To, to well to knowing languages and minus two to a, a couple of checks. Oh, yeah. What's the bad part of this ring? Makes uh, you talk. You can't cool. stop talking. You have no. You basically get taken minus two to stealth. I see and no problem. With and this perform. Ring. I see no problem with this ring. <laughs> Sam is still grabbing it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm... we have to delegate who's going to go see the guy now. I mean, I'm uh, eating. It doesn't really state here. There's no specific ruling here that mentions that uh, remove curse removes curses from item. Hell, it, it even says that it, it doesn't even say this is like disenchanting an item can't remove a curse either. Like the spell description is literally remove curse can remove all curses on an object or creature. Yeah. Creature or object uh, jo object touched. Touch creature object duration. Instantaneous will negate harmless. Lovers, yes, harmless. Remove a curse from all cur or wait. Remove curse wait, wait. From all curses. It's a uh, devil Wait, says I... third level caster for chattering, which Wait, I beat. Wait, I have a question. I have a question. It has spell resist. It's affected by spell resistance, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Then you have to roll because Wayo's curse yep. affects every single spell casted on him. I'm not he's casting on a Wayo. He's not casting on you. He's casting it on the ring. Is what he's saying. Oh, on the ring. I yeah. can't cast it on both of them at the same time. If I'm if I were to try to cast it on Whale as well, it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, if you target a creature, you must make a cast spell check. Uh, that affecting the target exists. This means the curse is removed. Remove curse does not remove curses from a curse. Remove curse does not remove curse. The curse from a curse. Shield, weapon, suit of armor. Although a successful cast level check enables the creature affected with any such curse to remove removing, get rid of it. So, uh -huh. the ring would still be cursed, it's just Whale is now able to take it off. It's just... Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's, well, it didn't exactly say that on the spell. I... Well, you have to read it on uh, Paz, you know, PC Gen is very, uh, what do you call it? It gives you, like, the bare minimum. It's basic. It it's, it's light. Yeah, yeah basic. Information light. So, the ring is still cursed, so yes, if you're picking up that ring, don't yeah. put it on. Oh, I'm not. No, yeah, Xana's not gonna if put it on. If you don't want to get stuck with it. He knows He knows exactly. He, he already had to deal with a freaking cursed item already. <laughs> He's not dealing with that again within, you know... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just Xana, the guy who has all the curse objects. Yeah, he'll just he'll just pick that up and just stow it in the freaking you know the freaking pouch that he's got the stupid phylactery in and just drop that in there. We can sell that later. Okie dokie. She gestures. Who else wants a meal? If you desire to do eat breakfast. 
I want a gluten-free sandwich, please. Done. You get just a plate. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> A non-carb, non-fat meal. It's just air. Can I get, can, can I get, can I get <laughs> steamed frog, steamed fox with honey? And you stare, see... stare at Wayo and uh, Biz as I eat it. <laughs> Wayo gives you a very condescending look as he eats from his bucket of grapes. <laughs> your peeled grapes, your bowl of eyeballs. <laughs> Truth, did you desire anything? This hellscape isn't bad enough. Oh. Eggs with a side of gold. <laughs> Eggs come out, but you see gold come. You see gold, like bars come out, only to reveal that it's Jewish guilt. Oh no! What? I feel so bad for being enslaved for all those years and then taking. It's two. chocolate. <laughs> you see chocolate. All right, whatever. You've never seen Jewish guilt. It, it's chocolate. It's chocolate coins. It's chocolate. It's chocolate coins. Basically, it's a chocolate coin, like, wrapped in foil. Yep. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate! You got so much- you got so much Hanukkah guilt. Anyway, she mentions over to you guys. I'll need one volunteer to speak with the big boss. Otherwise, the rest of you can just consume and enjoy your lunch. I mean, your breakfast. I volunteer Wayo as tribute. I second the volunteering for Wayo. Wayo drops a couple of his grapes on the ground when you say that as he was putting them into his mouth. He, I was gonna uh, volunteer myself, but I think Wayo would be a better idea. I don't think that's a great. He catches on fire when he talks, guys. Yes, oh. but he's the best at talking. He's got to have some kind of handicap, and he'll get us the best price for whatever job we're doing. I, I realize that Xana wants Wayo not to be the person, so I unig my vote for Wayo. <laughs> so wait, everyone's voting for Wayo, or it, did you just reclaim your vote? I reclaim my vote because Zana said that he doesn't want Wayo to be the one that's off. Okay, so who are you voting for now? I think the ghost friend should talk to the... the boss. Chirp, chirp. Sure, sure. Claudia mentions to you guys, I don't sense no ghosts around here, so unfortunately your ghost friend is not with you. I look very confused back at Zayn, I'm like, I start making sure I can touch him. <laughs> You're about to get kicked in the face, you know that, right? I'm not, like, hurting you, I'm just touching, like, your leg. But yeah, my, my vote's still like, for the fox. Z Zana, no, Xana actually says that. It's just, like, as you're, like, patting down his legs, like, you're about to get kicked in the face. You realize that, right? It's okay, Husk. I understand. You're indifferent. You, you're, you get kicked in the face. Okay. Not excessively hard, just enough to push you away from me. I'm so freaking done with everyone and everything now. Alrighty. Turn to the skull. So, give me a freaking, give me a stack of flapjacks and syrup. <laughs> and <laughs> you get flapjacks and syrup. I'm not gonna be able to taste this, but God, it smells so good. <laughs> Wayo well, is like a final desperate measure to finish his meal, just takes the bucket and dumps it on himself with his mouth wide open. <laughs> Spilling grapes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Throws the bucket aside and starts walking. Eat. Eat to go up the stairs.
Take the camera with you. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Yeah, that that this is this is more. Yeah, we'll go with that. She opens the door and lets you in. Get away! Hello, Satan. The fuck? Well, you feel a very dark and immense presence coming from the mirror. Oh, Jesus Christ, a mirror. <laughs> Whale's head slightly twitches. It's a not re also, it's not reflecting, it's pitch black. Whale's gonna just kind of like peer, like crouch down behind the desk that's in front of him, peer over at it, staring at it. You ever you feel like you offered a party member up to the devil as a sacrifice? <laughs> <laughs> you offered whale? <laughs> you see a figure appear bef before you, or a silhouette of a figure appear before you, with the reflection of the desk in front of you as well, in front of it as well. Where? Who's gonna initiate the longest staring contest he can mess? <laughs> Sorry, what? Where's gonna initiate the longest staring contest he can muster? <laughs> Make a will check. No. <laughs> Make a will. Save. Make a will save as you're staring at the TV that uh, all what for is one my will save? is hide is is hiding inside of. Oh. Wait, what was it again? Make sure. Okay. Your mind is hurting as it's staring into the abyss. <laughs> Only way it would stare, have a staring contest with the abyss. <laughs> you should never try having a staring contest with, you know, Start seeing the deep a dark figure. abyss. You start seeing a, a figure, but obviously with horns. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, if there was something that re there was something that required my answer, something I was talking to my grandpa. He said they're bothering me. No. I what? I, I don't. I don't the think. The fuck anything. was that? You're, you're not even involved right now, Inkix. So don't. Don't worry. I figured. I, I volunteered okay. Wayo's tribute and then just ducked out. You see that figure in the mirror, staring oh. back at you. Oh my god, we're talking. I say. Why are we talking to Light Yagami? Wayo stares back with a very suspicious, like you know, like squint. <laughs> From behind the desk. Fantasy the suit. At his table. Where oh, it's who has. Yes, that is a dagger. And an apple. That is. And my axe. axe. <laughs> that is not an axe, but yes. An empty cup. It is an empty cup. A book. And a book and a quill. Yes. I don't see the quill anywhere. <laughs> don't worry about it, it's there. It's very tiny. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's the red? Very thing? confused. Dildos? Any dildos? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is this a kinky bus? Cup, gonna... No. He's gonna start playing music with the cup. <laughs> no. What, what, right. what do you mean, no? <laughs> First thing he... Is the book. And the quill. I take the book and the quill. You see a bunch of names written down on it. Is he this the death note? 
that just started no, snapping No, it is not the death note. <laughs> right down, so like... He's gesturing to you to write your name. <laughs> Wales, Wales is not gonna write his name, he's gonna write Glorious Fox. <laughs> Say what? Wales not gonna write his name, he's actually gonna write Glorious Fox Boy. Alright. So you're Boy is taken. You see the the letters glow as you're writing as you're writing down his your name. You see it start altering towards the the glorious fox boy starts bending and warping into your name. <laughs> boy, I was not abused. The figure in the mirror smiles. You see him pick up the gem. He gestures for you to do the same. Well, <laughs> We're just like, like you know, like when a monkey finds something that they're curious about, like slightly touches the gem really quickly, as if it's to check if it's hot, and then he picks it up when nothing happens. <laughs> right, nothing does happen. He smiles. He cracks open the gem, and pours its content into the cup. He gestures for you to do the same. <laughs> So, Whale realizing this gem is very brittle, puts, uh, leans his head a little bit over the desk, over the cup, smashes the gem against his head. <laughs> Are you... okay, so it's content... Still pours into the cup, but he smashes it over his head. Okay. He does it in the most least elegant way possible. <laughs> he smiles and laughs. Or what appears to be laughing. He takes the cup and drinks it. Do you do the same? We're just gonna stick a finger in the cup and then taste the content. And if it tastes all right, you'll you'll, you'll drink. <laughs> it's actually kind of intoxicating. It's good. <laughs> Whale well chugs it. Oh god. And lastly, he gestures over to the dagger. He sticks his hand out. And gestures the dagger above it. Do you do the same? I'm gonna inspect- I'm gonna cast a tick magic on this dagger. <laughs> it's not magical. Oh. Mm. Made of dagger meat. Dagger meat. <laughs> <laughs> not even a question what dagger meat is. <laughs> do you do the same? Uh, yeah, why not? And as you see, the figure cuts his palm open. Do you cut your palm open? <laughs> the same person to me is saying no, but the Canada is instead of you wolf is saying do it across the entire hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll just do, I'll do the normal thing for now. All right. And lastly, he gestures and puts his palm against the mirror. Do you put your palm against the mirror? I'm gonna lick the mirror first and then put my palm over the lick mark. He smiles. <laughs> you see glowing coming from- Oh no. <laughs> you see his cup is glowing and your cup starts glowing. What do you do, Whale? <laughs> so, Whale is gonna panic. And if I can find it. Where is it? He's gonna cast a ray of fire at the cup. <laughs> out, of, out of panic when he sees a glow. <laughs> Nothing happens, but the cup is a little warmer than usual. It's still glowing. Well, we're really kind of like not not happy right now. 
takes takes the cup and puts it to his ear as if it's like a wire cup. All right. The jet the the figure in the mirror smiles as he takes a bug and puts it into the cup. <laughs> Wait, oh, he throws the cup. <laughs> does not like that. The bug is coming out of your cup. <laughs> what do you do, Wayo? He he gestures to put it near your ear. <laughs> uh <laughs> This is actually mildly uncomfortable for <laughs> Well, <laughs> Rail's gonna stare. What, what is the bug exactly? Is it like a weird, unknown-looking bug? It's like a caterpillar. Kind of yeah, like a mm. slug. Mm. <laughs> Whale does his, his typical like rub his hands across his entire face and like what the fuck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! <laughs> Where's at least gonna have some sort of adventure? <laughs> the figure smiles. And then finally you can hear a voice coming from the caterpillar. Uh, uh, 